Good morning, guys. Today, I want to talk to you about entrepreneurship, the journey into self-improvement, scaling up, and becoming a better person. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Lyndon Cameron. I'm a corporate coach or money coach, teaching you how to start businesses so you can have a better life. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing is watching a lot of ads because I'm getting ready to run ads and I'm looking at how to design my ads to be effective. And one thing that I consistently see over and over again, you don't have to build a website. You don't have to do any of this techie stuff. You don't have to get on the phone. You don't have to talk to anyone. You just plug into our system. We'll do all of the work for you and you don't have to do nothing but sit back and collect money. That is a very different perspective about entrepreneurship. That is really, that ain't entrepreneurship. That's some kind of hack or, I honestly feel it's a scam because let me go ahead and tell you about my entrepreneurship journey. And first we're gonna start off with who I used to be. I didn't know how to create a holding company. I didn't know about LLCs. I didn't know about sales. I didn't know about marketing. I didn't know any of this stuff and let's go way way back to the first successful business which was gc solutions i had a job doing the same thing that my first business was doing selling commercial office furniture so my first successful business made money made a profit put money in the bank and how did i get there and one of the reasons i want to start there is I came across Earl Nightingale, Lee the Field, Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins, and I consistently listen to this stuff when I would go to sales calls because for me, becoming an entrepreneur meant becoming a better person, becoming more valuable. One of the things that all of these ads or courses or hacks are trying to get your money and just telling you what you want to hear. And I'm here to tell you that who I am today is a much more valuable Glendon Cameron than who I was 20 years ago. And that's the whole thing because I know how to build a website. I know how to make YouTube videos. I know how to write a book. I know how to run ads. I know how to create courses. I know so much stuff that I didn't used to know. And they're selling you on this predicated notion that you can make all of this money without creating value in you. Like here, here's a, here's, here's a word y'all do the hard things. Like writing my first book, it was one of my most cherished accomplishments because I sat down, I actually did it. I started it. I finished it. It was a worthy accomplishment. And that was just the beginning because that first version of the book, had editorial issues and the second version had editorial issues and then the third version which was editorially correct I hired a grad student to do the editing um, it was a big big lesson because let me tell you how I would write a book today and th this this is one of the things that when you become an entrepreneur and you actually do something you learn lessons I would not write the book and actually I'm getting ready to write some books this year and I'm gonna actually tell you the process which I learned from the first process first process I used to wake up and I used to write for three hours and you know some days I would get like a thousand or two thousand words written and if I was flowing I get like three or four thousand words written, right and it was mentally exhausting it was very tiring so I plan on writing more books and let me tell you I'm gonna write books I'm gonna dictate the books I'm not going to <clears throat> do that. <clears throat> I'm going to dictate the books and then I'm going to hire someone to transcribe the dictation into print. And I'm also going to do the audio book through the dictation because I got to, I got to work on the process, but essentially I'm going to create the audio book and the print book at the same time because three, you know, uh, I got so much to do like three hours a day, every day that's going to be 15 20 hours a week i can take that same time and do triple the work because my plan is and i'm going to buy naturally dragon speaking because uh, mac has a voice to text 
which has glitches. It's not 100% accurate as Naturally Dragon. And I'm just gonna buy me a IBM compatible laptop, throw Dragon on it, and I'm gonna speak for about an hour to two hours a day, and I'm gonna get that book done really, really quick. I'll probably get that book, because it took me the hard way doing that. It took me three, almost four months to write that book. I will be able to do a book and all this other stuff that I'm doing, but this is a lesson that I've learned. This, this, this is part of the self-improvement. This is part of the creation process. And like my friends, my people, my countrymen, all of this stuff that says, you don't have to change. You don't have to do nothing different. You can stay the same way you are and you can hack and plug into this system and you're gonna make all this money. I feel that thesis is fundamentally false because this is something that is true of every product, every marketplace, every environment. Conditions change. At some point, that ain't gonna work. Now, if you're an entrepreneur and you're growing and you're doing and you're learning, like, let's, let's talk about what just recently happened with me. I was running ads and I discovered that my landing page had a lot of issues in terms of converting people from the ad creative to the webinar to the landing page. So this predicated me into ripping my business apart, which I knew was going to stir up a lot of hornets. I mean, I got people who are emailing me talking about access to courses they bought two, three years ago. You know, people don't like change, but once again, I knew this would happen. And honestly, it isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as bad as I, I thought it was going to be, and we're going to weather the storm quite nicely. But because I know, and I've done all these things, I've learned how to run traffic, I learned how to build websites, I learned how to build YouTube channels, I've learned, I know a lot. This gives me data points and reference points to make and facilitate change. Like I'm changing the content of this channel, which I already knew going through the door, just like when I ran in those ads, because I have experience, the growth and the change gives you experience. I knew what was gonna happen before it happened. And with that is a certain level of comfort. But if you want to become one of these template entrepreneurs where you don't want to learn how to sell, you don't want to learn how to write copy, you don't want to learn how to do emails, you don't want, this going to backfire on you because what's going to happen is if you plug into one of these systems, right? At some point, something's going to happen to that system. And what are you going to do then? Because you as an entrepreneur has not grown and made yourself more valuable. You're gonna be stuck like Chuck. You're gonna be in a position where you have to start all over from scratch. And once as a, you grow as an entrepreneur and you learn how to do these things, you can do lateral shifts. Like, essentially, I had a moderately successful YouTube channel that makes a lot of money by selling online courses. And I'm able to tweak and adjust this because I have experience, because I have grown as an entrepreneur. But if I was doing all of this Frankly, a lot of this stuff is sold just to get your money. It's more than likely not gonna work because like I'm hesitant to buy this one program because the more I dig into it, the more of a scam it appears to be. And I don't really feel like going through this. I may do it and if it doesn't work, do a chargeback. But being an entrepreneur means becoming better, becoming more skilled, becoming more valuable. And many people want to avoid the pain of change to stay who they are and not really create any value in themselves and not create true entrepreneur value. Because here's the thing, who I was 21 years ago, I couldn't do none of this stuff. You know, like it gives me the ability to see something and make educated guesses like what's going to happen with the Airbnb market, what's going to happen. This is just from being in business and going through it. Literally, I had a product that was selling and then one day I was running my ads and I noticed that I wasn't getting my sales just literally turned off. And I knew from being in business what to look for and I actually found out the reason that my sales disappeared. There was a new competitor in town selling the same exact product, but cheaper. Why would you spend more for the same exact product when you can go over here and get it for cheaper? I mean, that's a no brainer. So this is what I'm talking about. Like I was buying these beds from Coaster Titan Importers and flipping them on Craigslist for about two years, making good margin, making good money. 
and it changed. See, th this is one of the things that either you're gonna change, which will enable you to weather change, or you're gonna try to stay the same and get slammed each time the environment changed, the conditions change. Because as an entrepreneur, your goal should make yourself more valuable, which is to learn as much as you can. And I'm seeing these ads, which are pretty much telling people, hey, stay in your comfort zone. Don't change, don't grow, don't become more valuable, just stay who you are. We're gonna do all the heavy lifting. And you know, it's something funny, cause I, I did, you know, uh, an analysis on their website and their website aren't getting enough views to appear in similar web, which means they're probably getting 20, 30,000 hits a month. And the conversions, like 3% of 30,000, I think they're getting like 90 sales a month. And now at 1,500 to $15,000, that's a lot of cheese. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about is the entrepreneur's journey of self-improvement because if you start a business and you don't become a better person, a more valuable person, you're doing something wrong. You're just doing something wrong. And this is something that no one else on YouTube is talking about becoming entrepreneurs. It's about YouTube, it's about the gram, it's about flexing, it's about stunning. There's no one that's actually talking about becoming better, becoming a skilled operator, becoming a capable person that, like I said, like there are many of you out there who are, who are scared. You know, you want to start a business and you don't know what you know and you're, you're afraid and I already did a video talking about you will make mistakes. I'm, I've been doing this 21 years. I'm still making mistakes. But what I have learned is I don't let my mistakes incapacitate me or hold me back. I made millions of dollars and I was making mistakes because essentially I've learned to hold a line. Like when there's something that's going bad, I do analysis, it's like, okay, what's the worst case scenario? And what will happen if I do X, Y, and Z? And typically, like I'll give you an example. I, I take payment plans. Very few people take payment plans for online courses. You wanna know why? Because they know a lot of people are not going to complete the, fail, the payment plan. But because I'm a skilled operator, let's say you enter a payment plan, right? and you, 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 you don't complete it. You know what that's called? It's called a net loss. I had an expected revenue I was supposed to make, right? So I get to deduct that expected revenue off of my taxes. It's called a net loss. So this is one of the reasons that I'll always do payment plans because typically the first payment plan was a, you know interesting, but 85% of the people completed their payment plan. So I had a 15% fallout rate. And I don't know what the payment plan rate is like, but if you sign up for a payment plan and you don't complete it, I can carry that loss forward on my taxes and offset my gains. So even when I'm losing, I'm still winning because I'm playing the game of business. It's a beautiful thing once you understand it. And this is one of the reasons, cause like, like you will see people, they'll have like maybe a two pay, a three pay, but they won't do extended payment plans because they're worried they won't get their money. But I know that I can carry that forward as a net loss. And I got to do this for my this year because I don't know how many people payment plans fail because I don't know until I look. And then I'm going to be able to deduct those losses off of my taxes. You know where I learned that game? From my landlord. So this is the beauty of business and creating stuff. And like I said, I'm going to tell you stuff that no one else is going to tell you because they're not playing the game of business. They're doing template businesses or some kind of hack or some kind of temporary thing. And one of the things I wanna teach you as you become an entrepreneur and as you grow and you become more capable and you build, you become more valuable, here's the thing. And this is something that I've noticed. 2017, my cash on hand has grown year after year after year. And I have expenses, I'm spending money, I'm buying stuff, but my cash on hand keeps growing. You wanna know why? Because I keep working, I keep pushing, I keep innovating. And I know this because, you know, cash on hand in 2017 wasn't really that much. Then 2018, it took a jump. 2019, it took a jump. 2020, it took a big jump. And this is one of the reasons, like at the beginning of this video, 
I'm showing you a receipt because there are many people on here who claim to be business people, but they're doing some kind of template or hack or some kind of hustle. I can show you progression with my business where month after month, I'm making more money. I can show you that. So with these frauds and these perpetuators of business and these fake CEOs and all this other stuff, like uh, I got some fool who thought that when I drove up a Porsche and held up a title, he said I was playing the credit game. Anyone who has casually looked at my two YouTube channels, Savage Finance and this channel, know that I don't believe in card notes. I don't have any personal debt. So how am I playing the credit game? And part of that is, and this is why I'm showing ATM receipts, not to impress you, but to impress upon you what is possible. You can build a business and you can have $100,000 in your personal checking account. And you can have millions in your business checking. You, it, it is possible. And I have so many people who have low expectations for themselves and they want to impose their low expectations, no goals, no accomplishments, no dream having selves on me because they can't do it. So he's a black man. I'm a black man. I ain't, I ain't shit. So he ain't shit. That's what Mr. He playing the credit game. I don't know. I run a YouTube business. I run an education business. And I've been running an education business since I first came on YouTube with my first how-to book. So anyone who has casually, not watched every video, just casually been around, know what I do. And this was for, because one of the things that happens with people who don't have goals, who don't understand the real process, who are looking to hit a good lick so they can come up. Here's the thing. The entrepreneur journey isn't about hitting a good lick and coming up. When I first started, I had all kinds of issues and I had all types of problems that I had to overcome in time. Time. I was like, I had to learn how to do this. I had to learn how to do this. I had to learn how to do that. And I, I have people who come here and see me being successful, living well, making money, and they can't understand it because it doesn't fit into their mental framework of this hustle template investor paradigm. There are many people who will watch this channel who believe that investors make more money than entrepreneurs. And you can go to the Forbes list of the 1,000 richest people in the world and you will see business owner, business owner, business owner, business owner, business owner. Very few investors. And if you're in being an investor at the big dog level, I guarantee you there's businesses powering that investment. And you know, you got many people out here who need to hear this conversation that as an entrepreneur, you're gonna have to grow, baby. You cannot stay who you are and be more successful because who you are and the way that you think and the actions that you take and the way that you are is the reason you have what you have. So if you want something different, you have got to change. And this is one of the things that I'm seeing that so many people want to get all of this success. I mean, literally I see these ads like Jim, he likes to travel and he did this part time. That is one of the perceptives, uh, perspectives that I hate to hear that, hey, you're too busy to start a business. Go ahead and buy this and you can do it in your part time. Being an entrepreneur is not a part time occupation. It's everything. In the beginning, you're gonna be working really, really hard. There is no work-life balance. In the beginning, being an entrepreneur is all-consuming. And I keep hearing all of this stuff like, well, I'm too busy to be an entrepreneur, so I wanna... You're not gonna make a million dollars a year in your part-time spare time. You're, you're not. And this is how people, you know, cause I'm, I'm tearing apart the psychology of how they're selling the people because my ads are not gonna have any of that crap in them. None of that crap. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I'm gonna show receipts, and I'm gonna show you proof of concept. Because one of the things is that I know how this works. I've been doing this 21 years. When I work hard, when I learn more, when I create value within myself, then I make more money. This whole notion that you can remain the same and don't have to change, don't have to grow, um, 
is felonious. And this is what so many people are predicated on because I'm seeing, I have an opportunity to educate people on the real process of making money, starting businesses, and the true journey of entrepreneurship. Because this whole notion, and this, hopefully I wanna reach my young men. I wanna reach my young men who have no children, who are not married, and they have nothing but free time and opportunity. This is the time to build, not be out buying Dodge Hellcats and having a $1,600 car note while you're working at the Jiffy Lube. This isn't the time, this is the time to build. And th this is more, we're gonna have more conversations like this because many people are unaware of the changes that you have to make internally to become successful externally. You're completely unaware of it and you're being sold all of this garbage and crap that's saying, hey, you can stay the same. You don't have to do nothing. There was one ad I, I signed up for it, and there's Callie. I'm a stay at home mom. I bought the business and three weeks, three days later, I got 3,500 and I haven't done anything. Fantasies, just fantasies and fabrications. And in many cases, outright lies, just outright lies, just beyond fibbing beyond fibbing, just straight up lying to you and trying to scam you. And there's a wave of internet entrepreneurs who have leveraged social media into a following and that's the only business that they have because I'm gonna make a challenge. Sit me down with some of these social media entrepreneurs and talk about how to build a real business from scratch. I guarantee you they won't know how because they've never done it, but I've done it. I have actually owned a store. I've actually been selling commercial office. I've done many things. And there, this is the beauty of, you can start off in the resale industry and learn so much about business and these business lessons move from business to business to business. But if you never learn them, you can't make these lateral moves. You can't make these shifts. And you know, we're gonna have a lot of conversations about this because you know, I was doing a lot of mindset videos and people didn't want to hear the mindset, but I have a mindset that has allowed me to put six figures in my personal checking account in two months, two months. There could be more in there if I wanted, but I'm only going to take so much money out of my business. And this is going to be a whole nother video why you need to, you know, essentially with a job, you need to pay yourself first. With a business, you need to pay yourself last. Why? Because the business comes before you. So you shouldn't be taking all of the money out of the business. This is a lesson that I learned very, very early. And I've always had good money management with my businesses. None of my businesses have ever gone bankrupt. None of my businesses ever had any problems paying payroll because I have very good money management practices. Like my employee, their pay, their pay is already in the bank for the year. So they're gonna get paid whether I make money or not. They're gonna get their money. They're gonna get cheese because they're working for me. And this is the promise that you make anyone that you hire that they're gonna get a check on payday. That's one that I, I've never worked for anyone where I had that situation, but I've heard of people working for someone and payday roll around and they didn't get a check. I'm gonna I'm be, I'm, I'm be hot, I'm gonna be hot. So as an entrepreneur, there is so much responsibility that is on you to set up and do certain things. And we're gonna have these conversations. So if you wanna be an entrepreneur and you wanna learn how to build a business the right way, go below and enroll in the art of holding, which is gonna teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to set up operating companies, and more importantly, teach you how to set up a business from scratch. Links below, you can go on the payment plan or you can go ahead and make a one-time payment. And also, the you know, there if you got into the old corporate toolbox, you're getting a lot more than people getting into the art of holding. Hence the difference in price. Because the people in the corporate toolbox are getting way more than the folks in the art of holding. Just facts, just the way it is. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.